So Matt, I want you to rant about George R. R. Martin. I will, I will chime in every once in a while because I'm not too versed on the books yet. I'm still making my way through them. Oh God, so this is, this is my video? No, this is not your video, but I'll help, I'll help. Go. Oh God. Um, George R. So R. Martin. So for, for, I, I've read all the books twice. <laughs> Um, and I really want one more to come out, but it's never going to come out because George R. R. Martin is only working in wild cards. All he does is care about wild cards. Which is that no one cares about except for him. He did not one of his recent blog posts that I read. No, was, every blog post is about wild cards. No, it was cards. about night flyers or oh, whatever. Yeah. Night, night flyers, but he's like, my current workload. And then I read, I, I looked at what his workload is. He's working on, like, yeah. history books for Game of Thrones, except for Winds of Winter. No, yeah, no, I, um, I read... Nightfire short story, actually. Mm -hmm. And they want to make a series out of it. Oh and it's like, there's not, there's not enough information to make a series out of it. It's it's just a bunch of people that go in a spaceship and they try to find a, a godly space being. And then there's like a, a, a someone, the guy who owns the ship, they never see because he's he like he is like can't move because he's too fat. And he has a, a relationship, his second relationship with his mother, whose consciousness has been downloaded into the computer. What the fuck is wrong with George R. R. Martin? <sighs> He, what's what story about that? Have you? If you guys have read Game of Thrones, he has characters who are like fourteen have sex with each other. Yeah, yeah. It's thirteen. Really, thir Daenerys is thirteen when she has sex with Khal Drogo. Really? The, the, yeah. Well, then she's also time. fourteen when she has like sex with her hand. Yeah, but it's it's a lot. It's but she's a, but it was her slave, so it's okay. <laughs> no, you can't yeah, use that term. Yeah, you can't use that term. It's her handmaid. It's her. It's her handmaid. Yeah. So it's just handmaid. Handmaid's a, a show. Just because, well, I mean, The Lobster is the name of a movie, but The Lobster not exist. <laughs> We're not talking about this. This rants about George R. R. Martin. All right, well, so George R. R. Martin, he, one of his things was he wished he had time to visit the Game of Thrones set and the like other movie sets, but he's just so busy scheduling is there interviews yeah. and procrastinating in his nerd den. No, but as a winner, but like. It's he's he's working on like four different Game of Thrones shows. What the hell? That I don't care about to, to say the least. I it's I mean I don't really care about the show anymore. To be totally that, that's honest, a separate but, rant. Yeah, that's a separate rant though. I mean I mean I'm gonna say it. I love the books and yeah. they're they're some of the George Martin is my favorite author and, and like no one writes the way that he writes. So like I understand that it takes time, but it's like this is your job. What are you he's doing? A, he's an oh he doesn't owe anyone the books, but it's like what are, what are you doing? He's not in the he's, he's like seven sixty nine. Yeah. To be morbid, sixty nine is very very old now. Yeah, and a man, with a man of his size his <laughs> in uh, like health habits. Yeah. This book is might never come out. It was when did he want out? Twenty fifteen is when he shot yeah. for, because that would be four years after dance, right? Yeah. Now we're on 2017. Yeah. No book. It was originally supposed to come out like before season six. Yep. To like fucking make a shitload of money. Nope. But no. now you're on 2017. He said it's not going to come out now. He yeah. said 2018's might probably not. Yeah. We well, said he said he's shooting for 2018. He's but shooting. Yeah. He's but been the... shooting for 2012, 2013, 2014. Now. <laughs> yep. So so don't expect this book anytime soon if it ever comes out. But like some of these chapters, like these ones in our sample chapters, are like are years old, like are like almost a decade old. Some of them. Really. Yeah, and it's just like. Well, like, they're, like, they're at least, like, five years old, some of them. So it's, like, how do you, like, remember old chat? Like, how do you write one book that takes so long to write how, like, how, without, without still remembering every little detail from the previous chapters? It's, like... Do you think he just writes and then goes back, reads an old chapter, and went, shit, this thing connects nothing. Yeah. Like, he's, like, now they're in one area. It has to scrap it. But he's a typewriter, so... Like, he's a fucking... He can't even edit the, it. The fact that he writes on a typewriter, I think he just does it. Because he thinks he's cool. Because <laughs> it takes more time. It so takes more time. Space. So he's like, he's like, I'm writing on a typewriter. No choice. God damn it, George. He's just, you know, he goes to like, like when the show is really, really like, it's insanely popular now. But like season four, season five, he went to like the show castings with the members, and they're like, hey, George. He's like, hey, it's in writing the book. No, but I want, I want him to have a life. Like, it's no, a I want to have a life. No, it's not. But, but like, there are people. He owes work, us. There are people that work nine to five jobs. Like every day, and they're just miserable. And it's like, it's like he can go to cast price, but it's like, what is he doing? Like, what is he doing? Like a Tuesday morning. <laughs> but how do you, it's it's five years, which is like which is like seventeen hundred days. Yeah. How do you not write enough to finish a book that you like in seventeen hundred days? What are you doing on most of those days? Does he even write half the time? I don't know. It, it and it's like it's like I'm sure Wild Cards is fine and all, but it's like. He, no. he edits. He edits. Yeah, he, just, he only edits them. So why is he so obsessed with Nightcart? And it's, it's not like it's not like he's um, 
pushing out like no- novel after novel or anything. No, he's not freaking James Patterson who makes one every like six months. Or yeah, whatever. well, I mean, George Martin's a better writer than James Patterson, obviously. Well, yeah, but yeah. um, it's just it's just I I want it to be, I want, I don't want it to be miserable. Like I want that social life, but it's when when there are people that are just that are working like forty hours a week and everything, and they're just like miserable, and he just gets to, to sit around. Well, not sit around, but like it's just so it's just. And like they're a pot, they're like I'm. I'm more of an apologist than I am like a uh, firm than a like a like. Why aren't you writing every five seconds of your life? But it's it's getting to the point where it's just like, it's it can't be good if it's taking this long to write. No, and it's the fact that he also is very radio silent on Winds of Winter. On any of his blog posts, he says stay on topic. Yeah. Like it's like, dude, it's like your job is kind of like giving, like not giving us, but like. Give us some information. Like, how long do we have to wait? You have freaking diehard fans of these shows. I mean, if you ever go on, like, a Song of Ice and Fire subreddit or anything, there's people are diehard fans about this stuff. Give someone some update. Be like, hey, I'll be honest, this book is nowhere near coming out. So then we can at least, whatever little optimism yeah. you got, everyone has left, just so you can we can, like, just get rid of it. And we can know, like, okay, I'm going to be old and dead by the time the book comes yeah. out. Yeah. I mean, I'm totally expecting if Dreamer Spring comes out, never, which will. I don't think it will. We'll we'll be in our thirties at least, absolutely, by the time it comes out. I I've, I've come to that. I've accepted that. You've accepted they'll be thirties. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but at that point, when does the enjoyment of Game of Thrones end? If we're waiting that long for in between books, and you're gonna, you've already read them twice. Yeah. So I mean, ooh, drop the mic. <laughs> ooh, that could have been bad. That could have been really bad. <laughs> All right, it's good. So, like, at what point does it just become a series that you read a long time ago, and then you're just kind of like, oh, yeah, Game of Thrones? Yeah, like, my uncle, who's, who's like, in his mid-60s, he read all the books. And he's mm-hmm. an intelligent person, but there's no way he remembers every single side character. No. Like, you need to, like, you, you need to dedicate time to, like, know the series, and mm-hmm. that's good. It's, in, it's an intelligent series, and I don't want it to be dumbed down like no. the show, but there's, uh, well, like, a point where it's, like... People are gonna people who read the, the first five books like years ago are gonna we pick up ones of winter and be like who who are any of these characters mm-hmm. and that's just a thing that like and I feel bad because it's like not everyone has the time that we have no. as college students to read this much and people work yeah and have other stuff on the side have families and like they they can't give they can't put in the amount of time that is that is required to like know the series. No, I think George R. R. Martin's shooting himself in the foot because diehard fans are going to go, I've read these books through twice, what am I going to gain on the third time? Yeah. And then when you have now the book coming out six or seven years later, and a diehard fan hasn't read it in three or four years because they're like, I've already read these twice, I'm not going to gain anything. He, George R. R. Martin's just, one, shooting himself in the foot, and two, he's going to make less money if that's his, like, if they're trying to wait until the show is over yeah. to gain as much profit as possible. Like, he's just going to shoot himself in the foot. But it's not, even, it's not even like it's the last book that's coming out. No. After. It's the second to last. It's maybe maybe even the third to last because he was thinking about making another book. So it's not like... I feel like fans are going to be like, okay, you know what? Maybe, maybe, maybe book readers have only read the books once, mm-hmm. and that was years ago, and maybe I'm mad that, you know, book sex doesn't come out yet, and know that book seven's going to take even longer. Or like, you know what? I got my closure from the show, which I like, um, which I don't, I don't like as much. No. But like, you know, people who maybe aren't as hardcore as me into the books are... Um, are kind of like, you know what, I got my closure from the show, and I'm good, I don't need to read it anymore. Um, I don't know, I'm picking up this book, I don't know who any of these characters are um, any, anymore. I'm no. pretty sure Jon Snow died at the end of the, uh, at the, end of the last yeah. book, but I'm not totally sure. And then, yeah, they'll pick it up, and they'll read Winds of Winter, and they're like, who the hell are any of these guys? Yeah. Like, Because, I know you mentioned, because we're going to wrap up the current rant soon, but there's a lot of storylines that are converging, and a lot of things that are about to happen at the end of Dance of Dragons, and now Winds of Winter is going to happen, and no one's going to remember and then Winds of Winter is going to get shat on because there's no way it's going to live up to hype anymore. Yeah, people have problems with Death of Dragons and, and Facebook heroes are like introducing all these new characters and you're looking confusing. Mm-hmm. That's going to be tenfold. Not that they're introducing a lot of new characters, but like no one's going to remember these characters they introduced no. in the last few books. Not at all. Um, and then also with the show, it, there's going to be confusion. It's like, oh wait, I thought Cersei was here, not here. Yeah. And um, I mean, again, I'm going to read Winds of Winter and I'll probably love it. When <laughs> when it comes when out, when it comes out, we're using when very lightly. Here. Yeah, being very generous yeah. when we say when, but it's like it's just sometimes, man. It's and I say this, he doesn't he doesn't owe us no he doesn't uh, a owe book, us. but it's like what are you, what are you doing? And the fact that doesn't he is he 
Well, does he, the rights, if the, he dies, like, I know it's very morbid to say, will someone, is he allowing someone to get Yeah, he has, he has writer friends that are, that'll take up the Oh, thank God. Off. Okay, so, I He'll mean. He'll probably be out, like, a year after his death. Yeah, like, that's the thing, like, it's just, if he was the type of person that went, you know. But I want George to finish it. I want yeah. to be able to see, to see, like, his success. This is, this is his magnum opus. Absolutely, but here's the thing, if he was, we can, we can very much be thankful for the fact that he's not like one of those people that went you know what I, I don't want anyone else to write this because yeah. then you're just kind of like you're just spiting all your fans yeah. now so get your shit together George thank you guys for listening bye <laughs>